Hello students how are you all I hope you all are safe and staying healthy at your home So today I am going to start geography chapter 2 and the chapter name is land water and soil So here land now land is a common word land is what we see here and there land doesn't means that we need to introduce it land is among the most important natural resources it covers only about 30% of the total area of the earth surface and all parts of this small percentage are not habitable now the even uneven distribution of population in different parts of the world is mainly due to varied characteristics of land and climate now the rock topography steep slopes of the mountain low lying areas are susceptible of water logging now the desert area the thick forests are normally sparsely populated and are uninhabited plains and river valleys offer suitable land for agriculture hence they are the densely populated areas of the world now what are the uses of the land land is used for different purpose such as agriculture mining building housing roads and setting up of industries this is commonly terms as what we why we use and where we use land now common property resources to land land can also be divided on the basis of private land and community land second private land is owned by individuals whereas community land is owned by the community for common uses like collection of food or fruits nuts and medical herbs do you know that commonly lands are also known as common property resources now the change in land use over time there are many changes which are changing over time the how the time is getting the changes and the developing we can see we can see at our home we can see the city is developing we can see the country is developing so there are many things number one people and their demands are ever growing but availability of land is limited people started enriching the common lands to build up commercial areas housing complex as the urban areas and expand the agricultural land in rural areas now you can uh, see that the urban areas is developing in a different way and the rural areas are expanding in agriculture way now the conservation of land resource growing population and their ever growing demand has led to a large scale instructions of forest cover and arable land that has created fear of losing and the natural resource now therefore the present rate of degradation of land resource must be checked now a forestation land reclamation regulated uses of med chemical pesticides fertilizers checks and overgrazing are some of the common methods now what are the landslide landslide is a very common word landslides are simply defined as the mass movement of rock debris or earth down a slope now you all know they often take a place in conjunction with earthquakes floods and volcanoes a prolonged spell of rainfall can cause heavy landslides that can block the flow of river for quite some time the formation of river blocks can cause how have to the settlements downstream on its bursting in the hilly terrain landslides have been a major and widely spread natural disaster that often strike life and property and occupy a position of major concern now the next topic is soil 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 you all know that we can see at our home where we have the garden area where the area we have the plant we can see without soil the plant cannot be planted we cannot uh, like uh, play in the ground the soil we can see each and everywhere in the school areas in the houses in the parks okay so the uh, soil is a very common thing and it is how it is important and what kind of resources that let's start now the factors of soil formation the uh, factors are climate time parent rock relief and flora and fauna they all are the factors of soil formation now the degradation of soil erosion and depletions are the major threats to soil as a source second human and natural factors can lead to degradation of soils third factors which led to soil degradation are deforesting overgrazing overuse of chemical fertilizers rain wash landslide and floods now the conservations of measures 
mulching, counter barriers, rock dam, terrace farming, interrupting, and counter bluffing. What are mulching? Mulching is the bare ground between plant is covered with a layer of organic matter. And counter barriers are the stone, grass, soil, and are used to build barriers. Rock dams are the rocks are piled up and slow down the flow of water. Terrace farming, the terrace farming made on the steep slopes. The intercropping, there the different crops are grown in alternative rows. The counter pluffing, they are parallel to the contours of a hill slope. In this picture, we can see that there is a picture of terrace farming, counter barriers, pluffing, rock dam and shelter. So this picture shows many things. Now here is a small activity which I am telling you that take two trays A and B of same size. Mix six holes uh, in the end of these trays and then what you have to do fill them with the same amount of soil. Now what you have to do leave the soil in a tray. A. Bear while grow grass in tree B. When the grass is tray B has grown few centimeters high place both the trays in such a way that they are on a slope. Now what will happen? Pour one mug of water from the same height into tray. Collect the muddy water that trickles down the holes of both tray into separate containers and compare how much soil is washed out away from each tray. Now the next topic that I'll start is water. Water. Do you know water? In 1975 the consumption of water for human use was 3850 km per year it scored to more than 6,000 uh, 6, QU km per year in the year 2000. Now water has a, a hydrogen atom and oxygen atom. Now water is a very common word. Water is a vital renewable natural resources. Three-fourths of the earth's surface is covered with water. It can be the seas, the rivers, the oceans, the, la uh, the ponds wells, many things. Then it is therefore appropriately called the water planet. It was in the primitive oceans that life began almost 3.5 billion years back. Now fresh water accounts for only 2.7%. Now nearly 70% of this are as ice sheet and glaciers in Antarctica, Greenland and mountain regions. You can see in the picture. And the fresh water accounts for only 2.7%. Only 1% of fresh water is available and fit for human use. It is found as ground water, as surface water and rivers. As you all know that the well, the hand pump, the rivers, these waters are actually good for human use and fit as well. Now the problems of water availability. There is scarcity of water in many regions of the world. Now, Second, most of Africa, West Asia, South Asia, parts of Western USA, Northwest Mexico, parts of Southern America and entire Australia are facing shortage in fresh water supply. Now, countries located in climatic zones most susceptible to droughts face great problems of water scarcity. Now, thus, water shortage may be consequence of variations in seasonal or annual precipitation or the scarcity is used by the overexploitation and contamination of water resources. Now, how can we conserve the waters? We can assess to clean and adequate water source is a major facing problem in the world today. Now, the discharge of untreated or partially treated sewage, agricultural chemicals and industrial influence in the water bodies are major containments. Now, most of these chemicals being non biodegradable reach human bodies through water. Now you know uh, many infections uh, in our body gets into it with the water only. So water is very important but it should be pure. Now the pollution can be controlled by treating these influence suitability before releasing them in water bodies. Water is used for irrigating fields. The canals should be properly lined to minimize losses. Now sprinklers effectively irrigate the area by checking water. And in dry regions with high rates of evaporation, drip or trickle irrigation is very useful. As well as the valuable water resources can therefore be conserved by adopting these means of conservation. So here the three resources which are very important. We have discussed the water, the land, the soil. And I think so these three things are very basic things that we actually see here and there.